Alright guys, today's video is for all you ice cream lovers out there. We have come to Nakano Broadway in search of the biggest ice cream in Tokyo. I'm super excited. Yes, it's raining outside. Yes, we are still having ice cream. So let's go in and see what it's all about. So in order to find this place, you're going to take the north exit at Nakano Station, which brings you to this mall entrance. It almost looks like an arcade. And just go straight in. So what you have to do to find this ice cream place, you walk all the way through the arcade and then at the very end you're going to see a sign that says Nakano Broadway. That's the entrance to the shopping center. So yeah, we've just reached that right now. We are one step closer to ice cream. And from there, once we're inside this mall, we have to go to the basement to B1F. Here we go. Cutting through traffic. So it's kind of like a big supermarket down here. You can buy fish, fresh produce. We know the ice cream shop is at basement level, but we're not entirely sure where. So now we're just gonna have to walk around. We'll let you know when we find it. All right, so Audrey is going to get the big ice cream cone. You excited for this? I actually someone, I saw someone just order the large one and it really is as big as that. It's unbelievably huge. 550 yen? That's a pretty good deal too. Yeah, and as you can see we're not the only people in line. So yeah, we're just waiting for it to come. Oh my gosh. Get lots of napkins like and lots of spoons. Up. Okay, we're finding a little quiet space in the corner here. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. I I, I feel like we're gonna drop it or something. All right, let's try the biggest Ready ice cream this? cone in Japan. Let me just say, it is so hot here at basement level. Like yeah. I am sweating right now, even though it's a rainy day. I feel like they maybe crank up the temperature so you'll be like, ooh, ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Oh my so gosh. Let's go all the flavors. I think that's strawberry. Try them all. Mm. Is Next. it good? Uh huh. This one is. Mm. That's coffee. That's like mocha. Oh wow. It's not just coffee. So that's the second. This is the third flavor. Third. And vanilla. Vanilla. That one's easy to decipher. Yeah. This one has to be chocolate. Mm hmm. Chocolate. And then we have. We have. Not sure what that one is, huh? Could it be banana? Could be, Might yeah. Be banana. Probably banana. That is a popular flavor for for milk and ice cream in Japan. Yeah. So here we have another another pink one. Oh wow. Mm. Strawberry maybe. It tastes a bit like strawberry, but I already had strawberry. Maybe it's like a different variety of strawberry, <laughs> like white strawberry. White strawberry. And that looks like green tea at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the blue one is, if it's like mm. bubblegum flavor or something. Green tea. Yeah. And last but not least. Mm. What's that one? Okay, I've heard there's this type of soda in Japan. Yeah. And they make blue ice cream flavored like the soda. Wow. It does taste quite a bit. Like bubblegum? This is looking lopsided, isn't it? I know. It looks like the leaning tower of, of pizza oh, in the form of soft serve ice cream. Oh it's hilarious. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna let you have a turn yes. here, Sam. Okay, I don't I'm just, know how we're gonna... I'm gonna hand you the camera as it's rolling. Just like that. The heaviest ice cream I've ever had. Just gonna try a bit here. Mmm. I have to say that the flavors are quite rich. I thought maybe it, the quality wouldn't be so good, but it's yeah, actually no, pretty decent. Yeah, it's really nice soft serve ice cream. Oh, coffee one is by far my favorite so far. Yeah. I mean, I've only had two. <laughs> ah, vanilla is pretty ho hum. I'm Chocolate. just worried about this looking so lopsided. Oh my gosh. Also, if you drop the ice cream, they don't replace it. Okay. I think we need to start eating from the top because yeah. this is looking too dangerous. 
and just start topping it down. All right, I'm gonna take a big bite from the top. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. No avoiding brain this freezes is so, here. This is so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What a great idea though, but I can't believe we haven't dropped it yet. Super lopsided. Well, by far though, my favorite is the coffee. Mm -hmm. Which one was yours? Yeah, <laughs> my mouth is full of ice cream. <laughs> I would have to agree. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a mocha. Oh, so rich. Yeah, I really so like that one. It has I'm gonna attack. Flavor. I'm gonna attack the coffee as much as I can. Yeah. And I was just thinking, you know where else we've had massive giant ice creams? It's in Korea, in, in Seoul. In Dongdaemun, yeah. In Dongdaemun. Yeah. We used to buy those in the summer in the market. With that ice cream that we used to have in Korea, mm -hmm. it was only one or two flavors yeah. tops. <laughs> you didn't get eight of them. It wasn't this rainbow of flavors No. Like this oh this is gosh. so cool. Oh my gosh. We're going to have no trouble finishing this, let me tell you. <laughs> Shall we do another switcheroo so I can... Yes, Enjoy we should. Some more. It's so hard oh, to eat. Oh, and we should talk about the price. It was what, 550 yen? 550 yen. So in US dollars, that would be roughly about five US dollars, maybe yeah. a little bit less, maybe like 490, 480. So highly affordable to try this uh -huh. massive ice cream cone, which I I think is the biggest. It's definitely the biggest we've ever seen. Yeah. So guys, if you've seen an ice cream that is bigger than this. Let us know where you had it, like which city, which country, and if it was similar to this in terms of like a rainbow of flavors. Ooh, I'd be we're really gonna get curious some to know. Ice cream inspiration. <laughs> some ice cream inspiration. Maybe we'll travel there we, next in search of ice cream. <laughs> we may just do that. Okay, we need to trade because this is vanishing too quickly. So I had to fight to get this back from Sam, <laughs> but um. You did. You really did. Mm, okay. I wanted to talk about why they sell these big ice cream cones. And apparently it's so that if you come here as a family or with a big group of friends and you want to try all the flavors, um, you can just share. Like yeah. you can order a big cone and everyone can enjoy a little sample yeah. of all the flavors. And we actually saw families ordering them. Mm -hmm. Like there were parents with a couple kids. I have to say the flavors near the top are my favorite. Yes. Like the chocolate, the coffee, the strawberry, which is long gone. Yeah. The banana, I'm not a huge fan of. No. And the blue one, the, the soda one, I feel like it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Also, the vanilla is pretty it's pretty bland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, you're right. The, the best flavors are at the top, for sure. And they're all moved on. So yeah, that is a wrap for <coughs> this ice cream cone. I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> You're choking so on it. There's so much cream. to eat. Oh my gosh. <coughs> but yeah, if you want to find the biggest ice cream cone in Tokyo, come yeah. to Nakano Broadway. There wasn't that big of a line. Like, there were a few people here on a weekend. But honestly, it's not like one of those places that's going viral and you have to stand in line for no. an hour or nothing like that. No. Um, yeah, it was pretty tasty, pretty refreshing. This video is short and sweet because obviously we are dealing with a melting ice cream. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's fun. So, one in Japan. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys in the next food video.